Here's to the ladies, the fair and the weak. This frail creature strikes her typewriter keys about 40,000 times a day. You know, they were the coffee getters, and they were not entrusted with any kind of important role. My husband, working as a journalist, he knew the book page editor. He asked him uh, what his wife should do about having written this book. And he said, well, we'll give your wife a job on the newspaper. And I said, I don't want a job on the newspaper. I want to get my book published. It took a long, long time. Growing up, I had friends whose fathers said, you're pretty. They would say it every day, you're pretty. But that doesn't help a girl get on in the world. I don't get to sit here today and talk to you about what I do. If it weren't for a lot of female writers who came before me who decided that they were not going to shut up. When I started writing, there were not a whole lot of women detectives, more with a certain quirkiness, like Nancy Drew. And when we started Sisters in Crime, I really understood the effect of female protagonists. It's a sense of, I could do this. When I first heard about Betty Friedan and the feminine mystique, and I started to think, and I started to think, and women all over started thinking because it went out there. 